Fiat Chrysler Automobiles making a major investment in the city of Detroit. The company announced plans to convert the Mack Avenue engine factory. It will be used to build the Jeep Grand Cherokee and a larger Jeep SUV. The move will bring 6,500 new jobs to Metro Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Amira David with more on the big announcement. Well, we're talking about pretty good paying jobs, $58,000 a year on average, good benefits, not to mention a boost to this Mac plant behind me to make it a state of the art facility. Fiat Chrysler has designated the city of Detroit as its first choice for the first auto assembly plant built in the United States in more than a decade. An announcement welcomed by cheers. Detroit, now the target backdrop of a new $1.6 billion manufacturing plant at the Mack Avenue Engine Complex. The company, in partnership with the city and state of Michigan, announcing today it wants to make this the production hub of the next generation Jeep Grand Cherokee and an all new three row full size Jeep SUV, bringing in more than 3,800 new jobs. The plant also includes a $900 million investment into a secondary Detroit plant at Jefferson North, bringing in 1,000 new jobs. And elsewhere in Metro Detroit, the Warren truck plant would see a $1.5 billion investment. Sterling stamping and Warren stamping a $400 million boost. And a $119 million lift for Dundee engine plant in Monroe County. In all creating nearly 6,500 jobs. It would be a big boost for the state. The governor expressing her commitment to support the plan by helping to close the skills job gap and upgrading infrastructure. We got to fix the damn roads. These will be rugged. <laughs> these will be rugged SUVs, but they shouldn't have to navigate the roads can. we currently have. <laughs> but there is a catch. Because we have to assemble land in an urban area without eminent domain. The new Detroit plant is contingent on the city acquiring 200 acres of land in the next 60 days, the majority of which is owned by the Maroon family, DTE, and the Great Lakes Water Authority. If any single entity does not agree to sell, the deal falls apart, though FCA says it's not worried. We are super confident that the mayor and the council and the development team are work tirelessly together with the community. And it will take some persuasion on the part of the city to secure that land. Of course, if it does go through, construction expected to start fairly soon by this summer with the first vehicles expected to roll out by the end of 2020. In Detroit, Amira David, 7 Action News.